Another day, another story. The Model T sold by the Ford Motor Company from 1908 to 1927 was the earliest effort to make a car that most people could actually buy. Modern cars were first built in 1885 in Germany by Carl Benz, and the first American cars in Springfield, Massachusetts in 1893 by Charles and Frank Duryea. But just because they were available didn't mean that ordinary people could afford them. Welcome to Tabot Eminent Channel. The Model T was actually affordable and it became so popular at one point that a majority of Americans owned one, directly helping rural Americans become more connected with the rest of the country and leading to the numbered highway system. The manufacturing needs of the Model T went hand in hand with Ford's revolutionary modernization of the manufacturing process. Henry Ford invents the Model T engine. By day, he was chief engineer at Edison Illuminating Company of Detroit. But at night, Henry Ford labored over a gasoline engine. He successfully tested one on Christmas Eve 1893, with the help of his wife, Clara, taking a break from Christmas cooking. The engine worked for 30 seconds, long enough to confirm for Ford that he was on the right track. Three years later, Ford developed the Quad Cycle, a self-propelled vehicle. After two failed business ventures, the Ford Motor Company was born on June 16, 1903. The production of the Model T was preceded by eight car models through which Ford developed various aspects that would eventually come together as the Model T. Official Model T development began in January 1907 when Ford assembled a team comprised of engineer Child Harold Wills, machinist C.J. Smith, and draftsman Joseph Gallam in his small Detroit factory on Piquette Avenue, selling the Model T. Released on October 1, 1908, the Ford Model T was a self-starting vehicle with a left-sided steering wheel, featuring an enclosed four-cylinder engine with a detachable cylinder head and a one-piece cylinder block. Fashioned from vanadium alloy steel, it offered superior strength despite its light weight. It also featured a generous ground clearance that could take the worst roads, which made it particularly enticing to rural drivers. The Model T was the first Ford with all its parts built by the company itself. Selling for $80-$50, it was considered a reasonable value, though still slightly higher than the income of the average American worker. Ford's goal was to continue lowering prices. After selling 10607 Model Ts, Ford announced that the company would cease to sell the Model R or Model S cars, famously remarking that any customer can have a car painted any color that he wants so long as it is black. A publicity stunt to the top of a Scottish mountain. Ford typically engineered publicity stunts to get his cars covered in British newspapers. In 1911, a Scottish car dealer proposed challenging his son Henry Alexander Jr. to drive a Model T to the summit of Ben Nevis in the Scottish Highlands, the highest mountain in the British Isles at 4 Ford 11 feet. The bet was that if he failed to reach the summit, Alexander would lose his allowance. Starting at nearby Fort William, the Model T drove over rocks, across bogs and through snow on a five-day journey. The car ascended to the summit using a zigzag driving pattern. After his descent, Alexander was greeted by a cheering crowd of hundreds, after which he made brake adjustments and drove the car back to his father's dealership in Edinburgh. Following the publicity, over 14,000 Model Ts were sold in the UK. It was the last time Ford felt a publicity stunt was necessary to sell his cars there. Highland Park assembles Model Ts in under six hours. By 1913, a new 60-acre factory was built in Highland Park to churn out Model Ts. At the time, it was considered to be the biggest factory in the world, and the number of Ford employees more than doubled. For this plant, Ford worked to improve the assembly line of the manufacturing process. On April 1st, tests were run, an attempt to assemble a flywheel magneto for the Model T. This was the first moving assembly line ever, utilizing conveyor belts inspired by Chicago meatpacking plants. Each aspect of assembly was transformed into moving assembly, which improved efficiency and cut manufacturing time. In six months, the time to build a Model T was reduced from 9 hours and 54 minutes for one motor to 5 hours and 56 minutes. The factory was divided into sections, each assembling a single part of the car in an incremental building process. The Highland Park factory eventually featured 500 of these departments in its assembly line, Origins of Tin Lizzy. The nickname Tin Lizzy is often applied to the Model T, though its origin is unknown. One tradition claims Lizzy was a generic name given to horses and was passed onto the Model T. Later, a San Antonio car dealer complained to the factory about ill-fitting doors on the car and asked if cars could be shipped without doors, but include a toolkit for purchasers to cut their own, reminiscent of a tin can opener. 
Another claim says that during a 1922 race at Pikes Peak, Colorado, participant Noel Bullock named his Model T Old Liz, but its unkempt state made people compare it to a tin can, earning it the Tin Lizzie moniker. Unexpectedly, Bullock's car won and the nickname stuck to all Model Ts. Anti-Semitic newspapers sold with each Model T. Ford began to adopt anti-Semitic views and the Model T was used to spread them. Ford's anti-Semitism was mainly expressed through the Dearborn Independent, which he purchased in 1919. Also known as the Ford International Weekly, dealers were required to sell a subscription with each Model T, helping it reach a circulation topped only by the New York Post. Many dealers, unhappy with this arrangement, complained and tried to circumvent the policy. The final Model T went down the assembly line on May 26, 1927. By December, the Dearborn Independent folded as well. Model T ends, Model A debuts. Competition arose in the mid-1920s, giving consumers about 10 times more choices of touring car models than a decade earlier. The Model T tried to compete, but sales dropped and it became considered old-fashioned and was the frequent butt of popular jokes. After much hesitation by Ford, it was announced in 1927 that Model Ts would no longer be manufactured. The new Ford called Model A debuted in December after having to scrap 40,000 tools that could only be used to build Model Ts. Assembly Line Production One of the revolutionary aspects of the Model T was its production process. Henry Ford implemented assembly line techniques in the manufacturing of the Model T, which significantly increased efficiency and reduced production costs. The assembly line allowed workers to specialize in specific tasks, leading to faster and more cost-effective production. Standardization. To further streamline production and reduce costs, Ford standardized many components of the Model T. This meant that the majority of parts were interchangeable, making repairs and replacements easier and less expensive. Standardization also contributed to the efficiency of the assembly line. Affordability. The Model T was designed to be an affordable car for the average American. As a result of the efficient production methods, the price of the Model T steadily decreased over the years. In 1908, the Model T sold for around $850, and by 1924, the price had dropped to about $290. Popularity and sales, the Model T quickly gained popularity, and its sales soared. At its peak, Ford was producing thousands of Model Ts per day. The widespread availability and affordability of the Model T contributed to a significant increase in car ownership in the United States and around the world. Versatility. The Model T was versatile and could be adapted for various uses. It came in different body styles, including sedans, coupes, and trucks. Its adaptability made it a practical choice for both urban and rural areas. End of production. Despite its success, production of the Model T eventually came to an end in 1927. By this time, other car manufacturers had adopted assembly line techniques, and consumer preferences were changing. The Ford Motor Company replaced the Model T with newer models, marking the end of an era. The Ford Model T's impact extended beyond the automotive industry, influencing manufacturing practices and shaping the way people thought about personal transportation. Henry Ford's innovations with the Model T had a profound and lasting impact on the world of automobiles and industrial production. Global impact. While the Model T was initially manufactured in the United States, its influence quickly spread worldwide. Ford established assembly plants in various countries, including Canada, England, Germany, and Australia. This global production allowed the Model T to become a ubiquitous symbol of the automobile's democratization on an international scale. Social impact. The affordability and accessibility of the Model T had significant social implications. It not only transformed the way people traveled, but also contributed to the decentralization of populations. With the ability to travel more freely, individuals were less tied to urban centers, leading to the growth of suburbs and changes in lifestyle. Color options. In the early years of the Model T, the car was only available in one color, black. This decision was pragmatic as black paint dried faster than other colors, facilitating the pace of production on the assembly line. However, by the mid-1920s, other colors were reintroduced, providing customers with more choices. Evolution of design. Over the years, the design of the Model T evolved to incorporate improvements and address consumer preferences. The early models had a distinctive brass radiator and other brass components, but as manufacturing processes improved and costs were reduced, Ford shifted to using black-painted steel components. Cultural impact. 
the Model T became deeply ingrained in popular culture. It was featured in films, literature, and advertisements, solidifying its status as an iconic vehicle. Its nickname, the Tin Lizzie, reflected its durable construction and a lightweight design. Legacy. Even after the Model T ceased production, its legacy endured. The car's impact on manufacturing techniques, business practices, and the concept of personal transportation left an indelible mark on the automotive industry. Henry Ford's vision of making cars affordable for the masses transformed not only the auto industry but also influenced broader economic and social trends. Collectability. Today, the Ford Model T is highly sought after by collectors and enthusiasts. Restored Model Ts can be found in museums and private collections, and various Model T clubs and events celebrate the enduring legacy of this historic automobile. The Ford Model T's story is a rich tapestry of innovation, societal change, and industrial progress that continues to resonate with automotive enthusiasts and historians alike. Its impact on the world was profound shaping the way we view transportation and manufacturing to this day. Thanks for watching. Request you to subscribe the channel.